Welcome to Horse Guys. I'm back, y'all, with another video. This is going to be for the remainder of March. So tune in, guys. Tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in. Let's see what messages we get for the Taurus. You guys, the season is coming up. So let's see what we got. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. Please, guys, please, please, please remember to like the video, guys. This keeps this channel growing and flowing. Don't forget to comment below, all right? Share with your family and your friends, all right? So this is Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. Like, wherever you have Taurus at in, in placements in your chart, okay? You can utilize this video. We're going to do one more shuffle here, and then we're going to jump into it, all right? Taurus. All right, here we go, right here. So, we have the Two of Wands. Okay, ooh, and the Wheel of Fortune. You're ready for some changes, or you're making some, you're planning. Things are getting ready to change, or something's going in your favor, or getting ready to go in your favor. For some of you, I feel like some of you may feel like there is some competition between a group of females or males. Um, that's for some, not all. But it's like you've been waiting a long time for something, for something here. You've been waiting for a long time. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let's see what we got. We got the Ten of Swords as the first card that jumps out. We got the King of Pentacles, the Star, Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, Lovers, the Tower, Strength, Emperor, and Temperance. So right off the bat, I'm getting Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Gemini, Leo and Aries and Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with either one of those signs. You don't have to be, but those are just particular um, signs that jumped out to me. I feel like something ended. It could be something financial or it could possibly be with a Scorpio or an, or an Earth sign. But it happened out of the blue. What else the Ten of Swords here? Ooh, the Four of Wands. This could be a divorce. This could be a separation. This could be someone moving out. I see like you're kind of like having regrets over a situation. Why is the four of wands here? This could be involving family as well. Why is the four of wands here? Ace of swords. Okay, maybe for some of you, then we got the the Hierophant, you guys' energy. But this is also more like mar marriage or a commitment type of thing here. Um, oh, Justice jumped out. You could be dealing with a Libra. I'm getting as well. I'm getting like... Some, someone here could not be telling their family something, could be keeping something from their family or a group of individuals. Yeah, like, okay. I'm also seeing too, you could feel like you don't fit in with a group of people. I'm seeing that as well too. So that could be something for somebody else. Somebody feels like they don't fit in.
Tell me, tell me more. We got the seven of pentacles and the nine of wands. Your guard is up. Or somebody is guarded. This could be you or somebody around you. Tell me more about the king of pentacles here. The three of swords. Why is the three of swords here? Two of cups. There was a breakup. I'm here. Wait till somebody finds out. Wait till wait till such and such find out. There was a breakup here. Why is the star card here? The Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords. Somebody's hoping that somebody gets pissed off. This was a really toxic relationship. The devil and the ten of cups here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn or Pisces. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Five of Swords energy. Ten of Swords and the Eight of Wands. That wanted to show itself earlier. I'm getting that you aren't speaking to this person. Or this person isn't speaking to you. Because somebody here has some options, yep. A lot of them. Empress and the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of different options here. Somebody got a lot of different options, okay? Yeah, they've been hiding this. We got the sun and the moon here. So, whatever has happened in the dark definitely came to the light. Somebody's looking to see if somebody's better than them or looks better than them or has more money than them. I'm seeing you being disappointed here in the past with this Four of Cups energy. There's that seven of pentacles and that nine of wands again. I'm getting very untrustworthy vibes. You don't trust this person farther than you can throw them. I feel like you're regretting. You're having some type of regrets. Maybe you was uh, very giving to this person with the six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Um, I feel like this person let you down. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands here. Chariot. It could be a cancer. But I feel like you were trying to press forward from that. I feel like you found out or, or a fire sign or a Virgo found out something here. We got Hermit and the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Uh, Hermit is Virgo's energy. Somebody found out something. Something came to the light. Now we got the Lovers in the Future Energy. Gemini's energy, so you could be dealing with the Gemini, or this is a decision in love. Why is the lovers here? Six of swords. So you could be deciding to just either let a situation go, let it be what it is going to be, or some of you are throwing in the towel. I feel like you could be dealing with the player here, that knight of wands. Or this is you. Somebody's bringing up someone's past as well. About how someone is a liar or a cheater or sneaky. Um, tell me more about the Six of Swords here. Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody. You guys walk away. It looks like either you walk away or somebody is walking away from you. Somebody feels like they've invested too much. They put in too much. Okay, a lot of a lot of um, work is being put into this. 
for this to all come crumbling down like this. See, we got the hangman and the queen of cups could be dealing with the water sign. Yeah. You're finding out some, a plan or you're, you're plotting. But I feel like something came to you as a surprise. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Then we got the Judgment and the Two of Wands. It's like you, you were surprised, but you kind of felt this coming or, or this something finally came out. Okay, we got the Devil here. Could be about... Let's see. Tell me more about the devil. Oh, some. Oh, find out that somebody here is having doing a bump bump with somebody and behaving very single. Okay, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female. Got the Hierophant here. You guys, it's energy. A Leo could be involved as well. This person over here who you're dealing with, they're just wanting to try something new. They're just being bold and trying new things. This person over here is just, just dibbling and dabbling in their confidence. You know, they're trying to build up their confidence. They're, they're wanting to try new things. That's what I'm seeing here. They also want to juggle, okay? They may be wanting to be juggled, juggle more than one person or one more situation. I'm getting a lot of wasting time as well, too. Yeah, they, they're they doing things that make them happy. Like, they're on a self-discovery journey here. They're doing things to make themselves happy. And if you, it's like, uh, <laughs> they also know that, you know, they feel like you'll be upset about it if you were to find out. But I feel like they still do what it is that they want to do. Now, the emperor here could be dealing with an Aries. This is in your hopes and fears. Okay, it looks like you're trying to boss up. I'm also seeing somebody could possibly have a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. Maybe someone's hoping that someone runs into a sugar mama or sugar. Somebody wants to be a sugar baby. We got the emperor here and the ace of pentacles. Now, that's for some. Some of you, you know, your focus is, you know, bossing up. Some of y'all are bossing up. Some of y'all are getting some uh, offers from a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. <laughs> now, your outcome is temperance. Why is temperance here? You could be dealing with the Sag. I feel like over time, this situation is going to balance itself out. Or you're going to find a way to find balance in the situation. Some of you are throwing yourselves into work. That's keeping you balanced from like tipping over the edge in this in this situation. Like you're keeping yourself busy. Um, you're being very strategic on your next move. Okay. So this situation, some you may feel like somebody's trying to throw you off your rocker. And you could kind of feel that. So some of y'all are already like thinking, you know, ahead. Trying to be two, three steps ahead. We playing chess, not checkers. Okay, so they don't even know what they're dealing with when they come to a Taurus. Like, y'all are a few steps ahead, for sure, for sure. Like, you guys are being really strategic. Um, and you making your next move your best move, period. <laughs> All right, so if this message resonated with you guys, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Go ahead, guys. Check in the description box below if you're interested in booking a personal reading. As well as you can check out my website. I got all new lovely things coming to the website within the next few days, guys. Check me out. All of that information is in the drop box below, all right? I'll chat with y'all later. Ciao.